These are brief, basic consecutive techniques for my students uh, for Orion Language Services, prepared by Edgar Hidalgo Garcia. And if you want more information, you can uh, reach us at certifiedinterpreter.com. In this lesson, we are going to talk about memory and note-taking techniques. Um, one of the first things that's important in consecutive interpreting is memory. Note-taking uh, can sometimes be a hindrance for memory, and it is very important to take into consideration that we first must develop our memory. Now, to remember any type of message, the first thing that we have to develop are effective listening skills and concentration. In order to have good memory, we must first make sure that we can hear what is being said. Now, by hearing, I mean uh, being able, for example, in a telephone conversation or, or when we are telephone interpreting, being able to listen to, listen to both parties. Uh, if we are in a courtroom, we must be able to be close enough to the source so we can hear the message. After we can hear the message, we must listen to the message. Now, that means we must concentrate and we must understand that that is being conveyed to us. Now, we have to understand we have to understand the main idea of what is being said and retain that idea whether it be by the techniques that we're going to teach here whether it be by note taking or any other uh, method that best suits you after we have that message understood in our memory retained then we proceed to do the recalling which is uh, effectively interpreting the message. Now, to improve our memory, we must use memorization techniques. One of the most powerful memory techniques that's available is that of visualization. Now, when we visualize, we have to involve all of our senses, sight, smell, taste, sound, as many senses that we can possibly involve into a scenario. Some, something else that's important is that you must be the protagonist of your story. In other words, you are going to be the main actor of this story. And finally, we must involve things that are significant to us whether it be our childhood home or people that are very close to us, relatives, and things of that sort. Now, to improve our memory, we must use memorization techniques. One of the most powerful memory techniques that's available is that of visualization. Now, when we visualize, we have to involve all of our senses, sight, smell, taste, sound, as many senses that we can possibly involve into a scenario. Some, something else that's important is that you must be the protagonist of your story. In other words, you are going to be the main actor of this story. And finally, we must involve things that are significant to us, whether it be our childhood home or people that are very close to us, relatives, and things of that sort. Okay, now we're going to listen to a story and we are going to try to use all the techniques that we just mentioned to recall this story. Mary was in the cafe in the afternoon when she heard several shots coming from the street. She paid her bill 
and went outside to see what had happened. She saw a big crowd and went to check out the commotion. She was surprised to see it was just her friend selling firecrackers. Now, what you should have done was imagine a little movie with the coffee shop, the street, the people, and you should have involved all of your senses that you could possibly involve in this little movie. For example, when you were in the coffee shop, you should have imagined the smell of coffee. When you heard the shots, you should have imagined the sound of firing. When you went outside, you should have imagined the people, what they were wearing, and those sorts of things. Another important thing is that you should have been Mary. Now, many of the males that are uh, taking uh, this uh, class would say, wait a minute, uh, I'm, a, I'm a male, not a female. But that would even make it more odd, and that's what we need. You would imagine yourself wearing a dress and with long hair and with other characteristics of a woman, and that would have really struck you as odd. That you will remember more easily because it impacts you. So that is very important. Um, also, you should have uh, related all these things to things that were very familiar to you. For example, um, the cafe you were in, it could have been a, a coffee shop that you used to visit after school or that you visited when you were young, younger. Or, for example, the street that you were on, it could have been your childhood street or the street that you live in now. Uh, something that's very familiar to you. Now, let's listen to the same story, but now with some other details. I want you to try to recall this message without any type of aids. Here we go. Mary Salgado was in the Fresh Aroma Cafe at 3.45 in the afternoon when she heard six shots coming from Oliver Street. She paid her bill of $18.47 and then went outside to see what had happened. She saw a crowd of 38 people and went to check out the commotion. She was surprised to see it was just her friend, Mario Rodriguez, selling firecrackers. When we add details to a story, we are required to aid our memory with a special tool, and that is note-taking. The first tool that we are going to use to help us remember long utterances is something called units of meaning. Some other authors call them chunking. I want you to remember that we had two utterances, one with many details and one that was just basically a story. I'm going to read again the paragraph or the utterance that had no details and I want you to pay attention to the units of meaning that we have written down here. How we divided this in five units of meaning and I want you to pay attention to the key words that are written down to uh, express the most important ideas in this utterance. Mary was in, the, was in the cafe in the afternoon when she heard several shots coming from the street. She paid her bill and went outside to see what had happened. She saw a big crowd and went to check out the commotion. She was surprised to see it was just her friend selling firecrackers. Now, I am going to read the utterance that had the details and I want you to pay attention 
to the notes that we are going to take for this utterance. Mary Salgado was in the Fresh Aroma Cafe at 3.45 in the afternoon when she heard six shots coming from Oliver Street. She paid her bill, $18.47, and went outside to see what had happened. She saw a crowd of 38 people and went to check out the commotion. She was surprised to see it was just her friend, Mario Rodriguez, selling firecrackers. Now, if you notice, when we take notes, certain things can be omitted. For example, the Fresh Aroma Cafe, we can omit cafe because we know basically from the story that that is something that is understood. We would also be able to, for example, omit six shots and even the word street. So there are some things that we don't have to write. Now, again, we still have the five same units of meaning, but we notice that we are taking note of only certain basic words that will ha help us trigger our memory.